Hey, this is Dawn. Dawn Kryptonium. Today I'm deploying the passive guide into farming Cosmos airdrops. Only blue chips, only secure and trusted strategies. Before we start, love this video and share this video to help others. And the first one is the first Cosmos blockchain, Cosmos Hub. This is simple one. You just need to stake some atoms, maybe minimum 10 atoms, maybe minimum 20 atoms. It depends on the project. Don't go too heavy because we're trying to think of minimum required amount to farm. Use Kepler wallet or Leap wallet and stake from there. To which validators, you know, I recommend going outside of top 20. From top of my head, the good validators outside of the top 20 that don't have high commission. You don't want high commission. You know, Imperator, big validator, but outside of the top 20, on the 1% commission. Polkachu, great validator, amazing choice. Bro and Bro, also great, you know, but you can also find your own independent validators that you like. Number two, is the first AMM on Cosmos, Osmosis. Same strategy in regards to staking, you know, independent validators. I can add Cosmos spaces, also Polkachu is there, also Bro and Bro is there. I know Imperator is in top 20, but it's also good, independent and trusted, so I don't think they would be avoided. So from top 20, I would recommend Imperator as well. The reason why I'm shout shouting here because he's been friendly with me, you know, and on top of the staking, what you might want to do, you might want to provide liquidity to some of the pools. Choose the safer pairs with less of the risk, not too much, but that qualified many people to airdrops and they received a lot in the airdrops. One of these airdrops for using or staking Osmosis was Celestia. Number three, it's another DEX of Cosmos. And this time is Astroport, which is a little bit different. Astroport is the app deployed on a few different network, Neutron, Terra, Injective. I would recommend also providing liquidity and using this DEX because there is few networks. Maybe there will be some airdrops of this ecosystem of people who deploy within that Astroport ecosystem, those who lease the pairs, maybe use ne Neutron where they have the main contracts. As I already mentioned, Neutron within Astroport, use Neutron. You, you might want to get some tokens. These tokens you don't stake, but when you have the tokens, you can vote with them within the DAO because Neutron tokens are not used for security. It's secured by the Cosmos Hub. So what you can do when you have some of the tokens, participate in the governance. I believe the governance might be important part when it comes to the airdrop. So when you get some Neutron tokens, you know, after you provide some liquidity on Astroport, you might want to get some Neutron tokens and be active within its DAO because Neutron will be rapidly growing ecosystem and there might be a lot of airdrops and I cannot skip the NFTs, precisely Batkit's NFT. The problem, it's expensive because one Batkit cost $2,000 as of now, and we had the airdrop to the Batkit's holder, was Namada. And per capita, I believe the Batkit's received the largest allocation. And I think holding the Batkit's might bring more airdrops, considering this is like the OG Cosmos NFT, and a lot of devs, a lot of project leaders have this NFT. They might, might want to tap to this community. So, you know, this NFT, maybe there will be more NFTs, but I, I wouldn't skip this one, you know, because I think this one will be giving more airdrops, especially that the trend of the airdrops to the, to the NFT holders in Cosmos seems to be just starting. Obviously, we could not miss this one. You know, this one is important. Kujira. Just stake some Kuji, stake with Don, Don Kryptonium, because this is absolute sender. And you know I'm very bullish on Kujira. Kujira is sending. Kujira has the greatest DeFi ecosystem in Cosmos. You want to have some, you want to stake some. For example, there was Natsak airdrop that printed numbers for many people, you know? One Natsak around one Natsak per one Kuji. And one Natsak is right now 25 cents. It can be higher. You must stake some Kuji 
if you don't want to miss on the Kujira ecosystem airdrops. And of course, we cannot forget about modular Celestia. And once again, the same rule. You want to stake some Celestia, so I expect many projects that will launch as the Celestia rollup, there will be a lot of airdrops. And Celestia one, was once of the largest airdrop in the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, it actually did 600%, I think, from the time of the airdrop. So if you had the airdrop of Celestia, you might use it to stake it. If you sold it, maybe worth picking up couple and staking it. The same rule, don't stake with the VC validators. You might miss on a lot of airdrops if you're gonna do it. Independent validators. And once again, I see the Imperator. I see the Polka true. They are both in top 20. They are safe. They are absolutely safe validators. They are like great validators to do it. You know, and if you look below, if there is some other independent validators, I'm looking right now. Um, Larry Engineer would be would be okay. You know, uh, what else we have? Do we have maybe Cosmos Spaces? You know, this one is competitive, so I don't know that many names. As I said, Imperator, Polkachu, very trusted names. I know them very well. And with that, that was your guide to the passive Cosmos airdrop farming. Don Kryptonium's out. Till the next time.